Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to go over logging. Logging is one of those features, one of those aspects of program that is both very simple and very basic, but also extremely difficult all at the same time. And we'll go over that a little bit in the future. It's basic in its concept. It's difficult to do well, and you probably are not going to do at least and I certainly am not going to do a very good job in the very beginning, because a lot of it takes experience. And we'll go over that a little bit more in the future. So we'll just talk about the basics of what it is, and how to implement it in the very basic form. One of the problems is we can't, we have to go through some of these subjects before we actually go a little bit farther into some of these frameworks. For example, like Angular 2, um, some of these um, uh, uh, server based frameworks as well. If you don't know some of this information, even though it's a little bit advanced, you won't even understand how to use the framework because all of these features like logging are built into it. So if you don't know that you can't really understand the framework. But if we at least understand the basics of this, maybe we can learn the framework. And even if we don't know it well, we'll be able to, uh, you know, use it and with experience, we'll get better and better. All right. So what is logging? Logging basically is getting information about the, the program as it's running along. So as the user, right, when you're the user, you have an interface and you work with it, the program itself. As a developer, you deal with a lot of information on in an area that the user doesn't necessarily see. Logging is somewhere in between. Neither the user nor the developer really needs to see it unless there's something wrong. The best example I have of this is that when you fly on an airplane, there's this black box. So you fly, I think there is, at least I don't think that's a myth. There's when you fly in a plane, there's this black box that holds all flight information, communications, it holds a record of everything that happens as much as possible on this plane. And I don't know, it's made of some super duper adamantium or something like that. So that if the plane crashes and everything blows up itself, that black box will still stay intact. And the purpose for that is that if there is a massive plane crash, you can look back on the records and say, hey, what happened? Let's find out what went wrong so we can learn from that. And it won't happen again, right? Now, there, there's a couple of ideas behind that, right? You don't you as the user. So the pilot doesn't interact with this at all, right? He doesn't need to put information into the black box. It just automatically gets inside of there. So that's that's one point. Um, the other point is you don't need to look at it really ever unless something bad goes wrong. Now, it doesn't have to be a plane crash. Maybe there was some mechanical failure and they couldn't figure it out. But but everybody was perfectly fine. But they look back on the black box itself to see what exactly happened up until that point. What was going on? on this whole time. So it's a good way of tracking. You don't need to look at it unless there's a problem. But once you have a problem, it's good to know what led up until that point. So not just the plane crashed, but what happened that led to the plane crashing. And that's the importance of keeping a log. It's keeping a track of what's going on in the program the whole time that you don't necessarily know about, but it, but if there's a problem, you really should know about it because it'll give you a good idea of where the problem is and how to fix it. Okay? So we'll go over that a little bit more, but that's what logging is basically in a nutshell. So let's go over, create a very simple program, and let's see if we could get a little bit of logging experience on this. All right? So I'm creating a web application. In the pubspec.yaml, I'm going to say logging any. And I'm going to hit pub get. We'll get that right there. And in the index, I'm simply going to say there's three buttons and an output. Button one is going to be the man. There's going to be a bar that he goes to, and it's going to be a drink. Okay. And in main.dart, I'm going to import the logging package as well as HTML. We'll instantiate the buttons as well as the div output. The div element. Um, we're going to create two classes. There's class man, okay, and then there's a bar that he walks into. Class bar is very very simple. It's the style of the bar and the value of the bar. And the man, we're going to give him some characteristics. He's going to be young and scruffy. And I'm going to instantiate bar from down here right into here and create a new bar and have it 
cheap and shady. So, so class man will have a dependency class bar. All right, it'll depend. You cannot have class man without having class bar. This is not good programming style or technique. I'm just doing this just as an example. Okay, I would probably have to come back and refactor the code, but that's just an example of this particular program. Okay, and then we're gonna have two methods on drink. When he takes a drink, the man drinks, and it's going to say um, on bar, when he walks into the bar, some this some type of man with his look and age walks into a bar.style, bar.style down here, and bar.value of bar. So it's probably going to be shady and cheap bar, okay? So then man, bar man equals new man. Okay, so we're going to instantiate it up here as well. And I'm going to say bar.onclick. So right here, on click there. And I'm going to instantiate bar and say cheap and shady. And I'm going to say this is a cheap and shady bar. And then the man on bar, he's going to walk into the bar when you click on the bar button. When you click on the man, he's going to walk into the bar. That's a little bit backwards, huh? Um, when you click on the bar, it'll just say what the bar is. And when you click on the drink, it'll say man drinks. Okay? I hope this works. And let's open this up. And let's make this a little bigger if I can. Up to 200. Make it real big. Okay? So... If I click on man, scruffy young man walks into a shady and cheap bar. Okay. I click on the bar. This is a shady and cheap bar. And I click on drink. Man drinks. Okay. That's our program. That's it. Okay. So let's go on. So there is no logging going on inside here. Notice nothing is being tracked right inside of here, either from the front end, the back end, nowhere is it really being tracked. So that's what we have to keep in mind, okay? So no logging going on, basic program. Let's go the next video and learn about logging. Thank you.